Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. Using implicit differentiation to find dy dx. First of all, when you're asked to use implicit differentiation, real important to look at what you're differentiating with respect to which variable. That's what tells you what to take the derivative with respect to on each side, right? So we're taking the derivative with respect to x on each side. That becomes important when you're using multiple variables. Now, on the left, you see how there's a sum here? We can take the derivative of each term in a sum. We don't have to apply any kind of special rule. You just take the derivative of each term. So that's why I broke it up like this. You don't have to write that step, but it's important that you consciously distinguish between when it's addition, I can just take the derivative of each part. When it's multiplication or division, obviously we can't, right? So that's why in the next step, we have to see, oh, we have something with a variable times something with a variable, so we have to use the product rule here. So I've broken it down into, um, into a first function, 9x squared, and a second function, y, and then took the derivative with respect to x of each of those pieces, right? So if you take the derivative of 9x squared with respect to x, you just get 18x. We're used to that. But when you take the derivative of y with respect to x, you get dy dx. Okay, so that dy dx is going to show up. So we have here in our product rule, we have first times the derivative of the second, and then the second times the derivative of the first. Okay? All right, then we had another term over here that also was a product. So within that, I defined the first function to be 7y squared the second function to be x. So the derivative of 7y squared is 14y dy dx. We need to remember that dy dx, we're differentiating with respect to x. And then the derivative of x is just one. So again, we have the first function, derivative of the second, second function, derivative of the first. And then from there, we need to simplify. And when we simplify, here, we just have 9x squared dy dx. Um, I moved the, any terms that didn't have a dy dx, I moved them over to the other side. So you'll see that I moved the 18xy is going to become negative 18xy on the other side. 7y squared is going to become negative 7y squared on the other side. And then here we have the 14xy. Now, key step. Key step when you're using implicit differentiation. What do I do next? Yeah, factor out dy dx. So factoring out dy dx from these two terms here, we're left with 9x squared plus 14xy. And that allows us to divide, so we get this expression. Now, this was a problem from WebAssign, and the homework answer that was given was this. How can we see that, that my answer that I got is actually equivalent? Yeah, they factored out a negative in the numerator, good. Yeah, they just rearranged the addition here, right? Addition's commutative, so. It's really the same answer. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.